Hello, and welcome back to another EPC Teardown Guide. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Dell Precision 7760. This model in particular is a 2021 mobile workstation PC with an i7 11th gen processor. It's a little bit longer of a repair, but it's by no means complicated. Now let's get into it. All right, now let's get started. We'll start by taking the back cover off. This one has eight captured screws, although this model is missing one. All right, now to take the back cover off, we simply stick a pry bar between the case and the back cover down here at the bottom and pry up. Now, as always, we'll get this battery out first, held on by just three of these longer Phillips screws. Then you just pull the connector straight out. And away it goes. Now we're going to tackle the uh, keyboard on the other side. But before we get to that, we first need to disconnect these two cables right here that connect the keyboard itself to the board. Just pull these tabs up. Just pull them away. Go ahead and lock them back down so they don't try and fall back into place. Now we're going to flip the whole model over. Open her up. To get the keyboard out, you'll first have to get this little keyboard bezel out. Just stick some small pry tool underneath, pop it out. Be careful you don't go so far you pop out one of the keys in the process. Now the keyboard itself is held on by six of these tiny screws. All right, and now we get the keyboard out. You can use that same pry tool to go from the underside and pry up. Pull from the right side because the keyboard connectors are on the left. And once it's up, you can pull towards yourself to pull away those clips and pull it out. If it gets stuck, it'll probably be because these connectors are in the way so you'll just have to flip it back over and push them through yourself right through that hole underneath this metal bracket right here is two more slots for the ram go and show you that now just pull this one screw out there we are and while you're back here, you'll need to disconnect both this connector that goes to the GPU, this speaker connector, and then this third ribbon cable. Start with the ribbon cable, just pull up and out. Pull the wing connection off the speaker. And for this one, there's a little diagram right next to it that shows you what to do. So you simply pull up and then push away. Same the other side. Space is kind of tight. 
but a small edge tool will help. There you go. Now let's close her up and flip her back over. Now, let's get this SSD off. The thing you have to do is unlock this little plastic connector. And to remove this one screw right here, it holds the SSD in place. And now the SSD along with the bracket pulls away. And while we're here, we'll remove the three other SSD connections, although there isn't one in place for each one, but I'll have to get the screw underneath of it later. Now, let's get to this heatsink. You'll see on the top, there are eight numbered screws. So simply follow them in order. But before we do that, let's disconnect the two fans because they're also gonna be connected to this heatsink. There's the classic wing connectors, although the wings are a bit short on these. So you might have to work at it with both a nail and a small tool. Now let's get rid of these screws. Now the entire thing should pull up and away. Make sure that this little power connector doesn't get in your way. From here, you can now see the dedicated GPU, but we'll get to removing that along with the rest of the board later. Let's get this power cable itself out of here. It's held on by a little metal bracket with one screw holding it in. Pull straight up, and then this connector out of the board will just be pulled directly out. Now let's get this Wi-Fi untangled from the case itself. Held on by one captured screw. There's no trying to keep it connected today. Make sure you try and be delicate while popping these connectors off. Try and pull them straight away from the chip. We'll set this to the side. For the cables themselves, you'll have to de-thread them from the case. Make sure you're gentle, you don't want to break these cables. Though they have reinforced the joint everywhere it's held in place. Quite forward thinking. And for now those can just hang out. We have a display connector right up at the top of the board. Held on by a bracket with a single screw. And then there's a little flap here that lets you just pull it up and away. Now we've come to this plastic bracket itself. There are in total nine small screws mostly down here, and six large screws. Now 
Now for the large ones. That should be it. In that case, this whole bracket will simply pull up and away. Now all we have left to remove is the motherboard itself. But let's start by removing this ribbon cable right here. A simple latch and pull. And then this one right here, another latch and pull. Now there should be seven large screws holding the board and GPU in place. And with that, this assembly should pull straight away. And there we are. You can see that there's a few other things that you could still take apart, such as the lid with three screws on both sides and daughter board here for the SD card and a touch pad and mouse buttons right down here. And that's it for the Dell Precision 7760. Don't feel like doing a teardown yourself? Have not just one, but hundreds of devices taking up space? EPC is a global leader in the iTad field, and it's our goal to reduce e-waste and give devices a second chance. Reach out to us today to learn more.